We're uh, 40 foot underground in a nuclear missile silo in upstate New York. It's a, um, a decommissioned silo that I purchased uh, almost 20 years ago. All its beauty lies in its purpose. I had no intention to buy a, uh, a missile silo. What I was looking for a long time ago was a space that had architectural utility about it. I like utilitarian spaces. So if you can imagine there, this complex is made up of two main buildings. One is the launch control centre, which is a cylinder of two levels, which is about 40 foot underground. And the other is the missile silo itself, which is 185 feet deep by 52 feet diameter. The upper level is the living quarters of the launch control centre. That's where the crew basically lived and spent 24 hours. The lower level of the control centre is the, the working end of the missile silo. It houses all the communications equipment and the launch control console. There's a utility tunnel and that takes you to, through to the missile silo itself. The silo was in an extremely dilapidated uh, condition when I, uh, when I first arrived here. It was open, all the doors were open, including the silo doors. Both the silo and the control centre were completely full of ice. So each time that I came out here, which is only in April and October, I would choose a project and I'd concentrate on it and I would get it done. One of my intentions when I transform the space from obviously a very utilitarian space to a habitable living space was to retain as much of the original aesthetic as possible but make it as livable as possible. But I didn't want to destroy anything that had been left that was original. Previously, the living area of the control centre had concrete walls and vinyl tile floors, uh, neither of which were very soft or warm or attractive. So I left the vinyl there and I laid a commercial grade carpet over the, uh, the vinyl to help warm and soften the space. And the other thing that I did was line the concrete walls with a, uh, a quilted fabric that would both stop the cold from the concrete but also soften the sound. Areas that I uh, changed in terms of paint colour were, were certainly the uh, lower levels of the launch control centre. As you can see, this, this area is presently grey and orange. Previously it was, I'm not quite sure what you'd call it, Air Force Green. <laughs> been a long and arduous process of restoring it to the point where I can uh, uh, live here. One of the most important transformations in this space was to actually um, be able to sit down inside the launch control centre and finally relax, to finally feel as if this is a point from which I can now work. And that, I think, was probably when we flicked the power on, flushed the toilet and put the kettle on. <laughs> the space is, is quite large and so it doesn't have a claustrophobic or oppressive feel about it at all. It's incredibly quiet and so it's a perfect place to, to you know, sit back and reflect. A lot of people say that this is not real estate, this, this building is a way of life for me and they're quite right. I'm still to this day amazed that it's been 19 years, almost 20 years since, since I've owned it and I've never grown tired of it and I've never wanted to, to sell it, uh, even in a fit of frustration. Um, I've, I've never even gone there. I've always main, maintained that it's, it's, it's very much a part of me.